It all started with a simple phone call. I telephoned my friend Dan Galbraith, and he had just returned from the games of La Francophonie in Niger, Africa. These are games which are a competition of sport and culture among the French-speaking countries of the world. Dan sounded absolutely dreadful on the phone, distraught. And I asked him, I said, Dan, what is wrong with you? And he said, Robin, I cannot get the images of the children of Niger out of my mind. Libore is a tiny place in the poorest country of the world. 3,000 students with only 23 schools, only one of those goes beyond the sixth grade. His pain reached out to me on the phone. And I instinctively said, Dan, let's stop talking about this. Let's just do something. So Dan said, what? And I said, I have no idea. I'll call you back. And I picked up a phone that day, and I called the Canadian Embassy in Niger, and they connected me to the mayor of a little commune called Libore. And the mayor's son there was the only one who spoke English. And I asked Mahmoud, the son, I said, please send us your community's wish list. They corresponded for more than a year, then found a way to one another across the world, following the light of one vision to see their children learn. Robin Mednick helped found Pencils for Kids from Canada to Niger and the tiny community of Libore. We picked the name Pencils for Kids as our name and logo because to us it was not just about a pencil. A pencil in the world signifies literacy and education. And for us, this was a symbol of all of those things, communication, literacy, education, and most importantly, it was a symbol of hope. We thought that if we could send to one community far away a ruler, a pen, geometry set, a pencil, that we would offer them hope and show them that we cared. And that, to us, is what all of this is about. She traveled across an ocean to give children a simple thing that can draw a lifeline to the mind. In 2005, she heard about a classroom of 30 children learning with just one pencil between them. Seeing that shared pencil drew up an idea. Molly Killingbeck, a Canadian Olympian, and Michael Williams, a manager from my local office depot, joined our team because, as Michael said, Robin, I decided this year it was not going to be about me. I want to join your team. This was incredible to hear. Je m'appelle Abdelaziz Munkela. Mon correspondant c'est Jardin Hedleroa. We started a pen pal relationship between one school here, Dusan Street Public School, three classes in Dusan Street, and three schools in Niger, and they have an ongoing pen pal relationship, which has been tremendous for both sides. Amadou Madugu, Libore's mayor, has watched those pencils help change this part of the world. Parce que vous avez vu uh, les, les femmes, les élèves, les professeurs, les chefs de village, tout le monde est là et tout le monde est satisfait. Tout le monde est heureux de voir les gens qui sont venus de Canada pour venir nous voir. That friendship and a few pencils have drawn Canadians and Africans together as family, bound by the lifeline that is learning. Stop.